discussed some of the, the windshield bit earlier. Now we've kind of moved on to the, the door windows. There's several components involved in the door window mounting here. You can see there's, uh, these are uh, pre-formed uh, windows, so they have uh, uh, the right curve to them, and they're, they're also oversized, and uh, they're, uh, they've got a protective film coating on them so they don't get scratched while they're uh, being uh, fit to the car. So to start with, you've got a couple components needed here. Obviously you need a window kit for the car, but you need um, a window frame kit, which you can kind of see through the window here, which is the tubing frame. It's gonna go around the perimeter of the window, um, tabs that are welded on it, and then uh, you can see the hole for the, uh, the inner door handle, and then the upper door latch to hold the top of the uh, window in during a run. So the, um, the window frame kit, we have those available in, um, in pre-fit, pre-bent. They have the tabs on them. Uh, they, they do require some fabrication. The bulk of it's done, so it's, it's, it's bent to fit the shape of the window. And then it's, um, it's going to be long on each end, so you'll have to cut that and, and flatten it and, and assemble that to the window. You want to put that window frame in first before you fit the window, so you have some guideline here for the, uh, for the screw holes. So you can kind of see these windows are, are beveled um, along the bottom here, and that's because there's a slight radius in that lip on the door. So we're going to put a uh, just a little chamfer on there with a with a hand sander to uh, so that window will lay tight. And uh, these are just rough fit. We're going to go back and finish fit these when we're done. But that's why they don't have any gaps, so they're fit really tight. So this is a straight cut around here, and then a bevel cut on the bottom. We've got it drilled for. Uh, uh, these eighth inch Clico um, on the bottom here and three sixteenths on the top. So, so these will get a 632 screw in them when they're done. And so if you kind of come around here and look at the inside of the door, I'll show you this window frame kit in a little more detail. So you can kind of see here how the, the window frame fits evenly around the edge of the window. So there's about a one inch gap here around the spacing from the edge of the window to the top of the window frame. So that follows around there, and then you have these uh, these extra supports in here that come down and fasten to the door. This all comes with the kit, and uh, this tube has got a little rod end in it, both front and back. And there's a plate. You can see these uh, see these three six thirty two screws here. There's a plate behind on the inside of the door that's got a um, threaded insert in it that this is going to fasten to. So what that gives us the option to is be able to adjust this rod end. Um, to get the window in and out to set the tension of, on the body when we're done so we can we can adjust this if we want to pull the window in at the top we can shorten this rod end up and pull that in and tighten this up so it lays against the body nice and tight and then of course you got your upper door latch uh, here and and this is really standard on some, on a fast door car because the, the windows the, the air wrapping around the windshield and going down the side of the car it wants to suck the window out and if it sucks it out far enough, it gets behind it. So it doesn't actually get behind it at first. It actually sucks it out, pulls it out away from the body. And then once it gets behind there, then it rips the window off. So this little upper door latch has a small little loop welded to the chassis here. And then when you push the uh, button in after the door is closed, you can see how this works. It's gonna go in and catch on that loop and pull that window in tight so that this can't come out. And this can be operated from inside the car or outside the car. When it's all done, there's another little uh, tab that goes on here so the driver can flip it open from inside. So pretty standard window installation here. These are uh, roughed in right now and, and most of the inner door is all finished. So the, um, the door windows are probably the more complicated uh, out of all the window kit on the car because you've got the window frame to mess with to fasten to so the the quarter windows are obviously uh, very easy they're going to have a, a slight bevel around them and they're just fit and drilled same way with the back window um, we're going to uh, use some uh, we have a window screw kit for the entire car that will fasten these windows in and they they use a small 632 uh, flat head stainless screws in here and then the uh, the back window we will normally Zeus that in um, we've got small 5 16 uh, shank Zeus's that we'll use to fasten that back window in and uh, that allows the window to come out and where you can clean the back of the car back in that back package tray and tub area just makes it a lot easier to keep clean and not having the window come out so the windshield's in permanent 
door windows, quarter windows are on permanent, but the, uh, the back window Zeus is in and out. So uh, that's kind of the 101 on the, on the windows here. And uh, once, you're, once, once we're done with these and we're fit, final fit, we're ready to send the car out for paint, um, we'll take these windows, then we will um, finish the edge. We'll like this. We'll sand this with a, a smoother sandpaper, a little less grit to finish off this edge. And we'll go around all the windows and straighten up all the lines. And then we're going to want to border paint them. So what we'll do then is we'll want to paint the inside, the, the, the body side of the window. We'll, we'll mask that off and we'll um, use a black border paint and we'll come around here and paint that window so that you have a nice uh, black finish along where the flange is. So this one, will, the door windows just get a stripe across the bottom here. The quarter windows get all the way around, same way with the, uh, the windshield and the back window. They get a full perimeter border paint. So you'll have to mask that off and then, and then take a razor blade and cut that line and then uh, use some fine line tape and uh, hand sand that and paint those windows and that'll give you a nice black border uh, to finish off your window set.